Okay, y'all, let's get this bread party going. Sorry about the lighting, if it's messed up. And here I have three cups of white wheat, which is this, is what I use by King Arthur's. And then I've got three cups of the Baker's Corner All Purpose wheat this is the bleached I couldn't find the unbleached so yeah it is what it is hopefully it will work Donnie I got a candle on the uh, thing on the counter so I gotta pause my video y'all don't want to copyright on. That's where I'm learning to make bread. I'm watching Rose Red Homestead, I think it is. Yeah, Rose Red Homestead, y'all check her out. She's got some good knowledge, which I'll pick up eventually. Right now, I'm just trying to learn how to make bread. Um, I made it a while back. Let me just put you up a little bit. But it always turned out flat, so. And here I've got three cups of the wheat. The white wheat. Then I've got three cups of the all-purpose flour. I'm going to mix that up. Actually, I'm going to use my hands. Get it blended in. I really hope this turns out. I gave up on ever making bread years ago. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I was doing something wrong. Just want to mix it up really, really good. There you go. I gotta sit down to do this here part. I got a bad back, so. Now, I know this is on my soaping channel, but figured y'all would like to see me. This will either be a success, or it'll be a huge fail. Only time will tell. Okay, it's pretty good. I'd say pretty mixed up. Okay, now, she says to add the yeast. Now, this is the yeast I use. It, well, this is what I had. I got a big compact thing it's instant yeast which means I guess you don't have to add it to water you just sprinkle that on top this is three tablespoons and it takes three of them little packets okay then oh, that's the salt then it takes, no, it takes two tablespoons of yeast. That was two tablespoons of yeast. And this is three tablespoons of sugar. I was working with a half of, uh, yeah. Okay. Mix this in really good. I will be so excited if this bread turns out. Never mind my brother's TV. He's in his bedroom with it. Okay. It got mixed in really good. Donnie, close your door a little bit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna close the door a little bit so I don't get a copyright. Sorry about that, y'all. Don't want to get a copyright. 
Okay. I guess that lighting ain't gonna be too bad. It makes it kind of brighter though. Okay, now the salt is just regular table salt. I couldn't find my sea uh, Himalayan salt. That's what I prefer. And the sugar was um yellow sugar. Which I prefer over regular sugar, but I'll use either one that I got on hand. Um, the salt is one and a half teaspoons. Just sprinkle that on top, ever so like. And just mix it in the top, she says. Okay, now keep all the flour. Now, the tricky part, let me see, sorry y'all, first time I gotta read my directions. Okay, add the, this is extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna make a little well right here. Oh shit. Um, I need to take a cup of this out because I may not need all of the flour. So yeah, should have done that first, but won't do that much here. Put that aside. Now we'll make a well. Put my oil in. Get it all out. Extra virgin olive oil isn't cheap, y'all. By any means. But it's the best. My hands are clean, so yeah. I'm just kind of mix that in there a little bit. Okay, now make a well here. And it says two and a half cups of warm water between 85 and 90 degrees, a little lower than body temperature. And mine is 91 Sorry, I had trouble reading it Which Yeah, it'll work Bump some of it in first Bump half my aunt in the background she's always yelling she's got dementia so kind of ignore her if you hear her. that's just what dementia people do okay See, I need to add more of the water. Actually, need to add all of the water. Then maybe a tad bit more of the flour. It'll probably be a bit sticky, but that's okay. 
Y'all see me here? Okay, cool. We put it down a little bit, but I can't. Trying to get the flower up at the bottom. Now the flower consistency depends on how warm, how cold, or whatever it is in your home. Humidity. We keep our AC on, so or that's what I've heard. Okay. A little bit more flower. my back. I got back problems, y'all. Ignore me. Okay, good thing I took my rings off. I'm going to be doing some um, hot water bath canning, some dehydrating, and what have you. All I got right now is a water bath canner. I just got that. Got a, some canning jars, a pint size, quart size. Okay, a little bit more. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Got to get it so that where it's not, um, but this is fun. I love getting my hands like meatloaf, mixing it up. Some people just can't handle that. Me. Yeah, that's how I tell the texture and the feel of things. Okay, now we're going to take this out of here, get paper towel, draw my table up here while I spill a little bit of my water. flour all over my bread. I got me a new recipe book to write my recipes down in. Once I get the hang of this, I like savory type things. So once I get the hang of this and the buns, um, yeah, I'm going to try and make some hamburger buns and rolls and because you can actually freeze them so we freeze loaves of bread all the time so yeah we just so happens got a another freezer back there in my studio okay now put just a little bit of powder down here
fill this out. Need to get me some bowls. Okay, pretty good. Now, time to knead it. Knead it for about four minutes. Then I'll put it in the bowl, let it rest. Come back, knead it some more. Feels good though. I guess this helps get the yeast and the sugar, the yeast eating the sugar and then it'll start working. And it gets the gluten going. I'll understand it one of these days, you know. You notice it's not sticking. Sorry, I have trouble with my right side from where I have my mastectomy done. Aunt Cat, you just had one. Looks good. Okay, y'all cut off. Kills your back. Donnie, will you give her a drink? Okay. Got about another minute. Whew. Feels. Whew. Okay, a couple more times. Not sticking, damn it. Okay, now. I'll put it, put this bowl back over it. Let it rise for, okay, what's this say? minutes let cover come back in five to ten minutes dust space again and repeat need for four to five more minutes okay bring you all back in about four or five minutes in the meantime I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then I'll just redust it see you then Okay, y'all, we're back for the second kneading. Take my cover off. Pull this back. A little bit of flour here. Roll it over. Yeah, not sticking to my table too bad. A little bit of flour there. And knead for another four minutes. Uh. Yes get you tired but it helps the yeast 
and the sugar for form of gluten, I guess. If you want, I want to know the science behind this. Um, go to Rose Red Homestead on YouTube, and she'll tell you all about it. Need any more flour though? I don't want that. What are you cats doing? Precious, chill out. I'm using the palm of my hand. Done here I'll put it in the bowl and we'll let it hopefully double its size very nice filling dough though Very, very tiring. <clears throat> okay. A few more times. back in the bowl and see how it poopies up I'm gonna cover it with a bag of the dog bag make sure it don't have no holes in it That's got a hole in it. Oh, I got it. Okay. He's a good old. Under here. Okay, y'all. I'll bring you back in 20 to a half hour, and we'll see how much it rises. We'll push the gas out of it, and then we'll fold it, roll it, fold it, or smash it. Fold it, tuck it, and put it in. Hmm. Do I gotta. I think I gotta grease the bottom of this first, damn it. We'll mess up already. Okay. Let me. Get my olive oil again. Put just a little bit, just enough to grease it. I barely reach that damn cabinet. I'm going to tuck it under. Get 
this backwards, y'all. Okay. Suck it. Okay, now covered. I knew I was messing it up. Almost forgot. Should have smeared the oil into the bowl before I did that, but okay. I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes. See how much this puppy's rised. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to use this same bag. Put some flour down. Now I'm still got that much left out of the six cups. Let's dump that over there. I'll put this over here. Because I believe I'm done with that. Okay, put a little bit on top. Now, and I'm going to try to roll it like her, just because I've never done this before. Now you got to degas it. Excuse me. This is a job, y'all. But it's fun. Okay, let me get my cutting tool. Which is the same thing as I use as my soap cutter. These are new. here I've got two of these we're just going to try to see where the halfway mark is god I cannot cut a straight line to save my soul Okay, nope, still ain't cut. Darn it, come on, there. Okay, now, put this aside, take this, turn it this way.
Okay, now, the way she did it, take one half, bring it over to the middle, push it down, The other side, do the same. So happy so far, y'all. It rose. Drop that down. Bring this over. Bring this over. Now here's my pan. Okay, that's about right. Now, she said you take the underneath part and fold it over. Which is easier said than done. And I do the same on this side. Hopefully without cracking the top. Pinch that down. Okay, now, I've greased my pan with some of the Pam, take it, put it in here like this, shape it out so that where it's fairly even. that one aside. Now the other one. God, it's hard to do guys. I tried to do this one sitting down. Can't help it. This is all the six cups here. Okay. Now. I'm using my knuckles, y'all. It's a little bit easier on my arm. Okay, over to the middle, okay. 
Okay. And then I've got the karate top it on the last one. I'll do that this time. And then pull that over. Hopefully it's not splitting. And just staple it in there. And I turn it around to get the other side. I cannot do this things backwards, y'all. Together. Okay, as always, I got this one greased as well. Nice. Take it, put it in the pan. Now, I'm going to the second one. Looks pretty cool, guys. So happy so far. Okay, I'll bring my paper towel back because the table's cold. <coughs> Excuse me. Put the bag back over it. Actually, get a different bag. This has got oil on it. I don't want oil on the outside of my pan. Get it? Come on. A bigger bag, but I'll make this one work. There you go. Okay, now. We'll come back when this is rised and ready to put in the oven. Until then, I'm going to preheat my oven, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, let me zoom you in, and we'll test this to see if it is good to go. And now, the way she says to test it, sorry, I'm trying to zoom you in a little bit, is to stick your finger in it oh look at that guys and if it bounces back fast then it's not ready I'm going to stick my finger in just a little bit of flour my oven is already preheated okay 
Kick my finger in it if it bounces back fast. And it doesn't. So therefore, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. I'm not too worried about that. As long as it rises and it tastes good, I'm good, guys. I'm getting excited. Okay, let me put this in the oven. Got it on 375. And I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so yeah. Okay, it's in the oven. And my stove is a gas oven with electric light, so I'm really not sure how long it's going to take. Let me focus you up for a minute. Not sure how long it's going to take, y'all. Um, so, after about 20 minutes, I'll look at it. If it's golden brown, I'll stick my thermometer in halfway through the end. And if it comes out between, what was it? Um, 190 to 200 in the middle of the loaf, then it'll be done. And I'll bring you guys back. I am just so excited made flatbread years ago yeah well I tried to make bread years ago and it always came out flat I don't know what I did but so far this is a success guys so stay tuned to see whether it's a success or a fail I'll be back y'all look at this I have bread. At this point, you can use either Clorox or you can use ceramine tablets. Look at this. Because ceramine tablets Isn't this are awesome? the go-to for the restaurant industry. That is what I'm going to use. And the so pretty. And the for rinsing dishes like this is two tablets the bottom. So I'm putting two gallons of water in my sink. I'm going to put in the other tablets. side. This is just so awesome. Now keep in mind, it didn't rise as much because it is half wheat. Wheat does not rise as much as. Just like with Clorox, we are going to give us a minute. Let it cool because it's kind of hot right now. And I'll be back to do the taste test. Okay, y'all, get ready to cut into the bread, wrong way, sorry about the hands. This is a gorgeous loaf of bread, y'all, look at that, it's still nice and warm. I did butter all the way around it, I have to use my serrated one. Do a nice little taste test here. Oh, look at that, guys. The inside of that. That is awesome. I finally did it. Woohoo! Look at that. And it bounces back. It is so nice. It smells awesome. Okay, let's put some butter on this baby. Look at that crumb in that. That is a tight crumb. But it's good. I love my wheat bread. I do got digestive problems though, so that is why I made half and half. Okay, I can see me making some more bread along the way, guys. 
Okay. So you can see my reaction. This is awesome. I love the texture of it. You can taste the wheat. It's just good, guys. I'm having a bite. Look at that. Look how fluffy that is. Fluffy but tight. This is good. So I got this recipe off of Rose Red Homestead. I'm gonna check her out. She'll give you the science behind all of it. Finally made a batch of bread that was absolutely bread and not flat bread. Yes. And this is so good. This bread is definitely not gonna last long. Um After it cools down, I'll put it in a couple Ziplocs. Um, yeah. I think the next thing I'm going to try to make is some buns. And noodles. And rolls. Um. Yeah. Things are hard to buy anymore, y'all. So I'm going to be canning. I'm going to be dehydrating and stocking up my closet shelves. But this is not a fail. This is a success. Thank you for joining me. If you want to see more, I click the link. Oh my god, Tina. I am so flabbergasted. This turned out. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's just so good, guys. So, so good. I'm going to get my aunt a piece of it. And get her ready for bed. And, yeah. If you want to see more videos like this, I also do bath and body products. I'm working on candles. Which is also kind of a preservation type thing. If you think about it. Because I've always got it. Yeah. Um, and it's better in store-bought stuff. So, my channel is a thing of all things. Um, but, yeah. This is good, guys. Really, really good. Try this recipe. Hashtag Rose Red Homestead. If it weren't for her and her knowledge, probably would have turned out flat again. But anyhow, guys, give me that thumbs up. Help me beat that algorithm. Hopefully, I inspired some of you. And share the video. Leave me a comment telling me what you think. If you got any... I can't think of the words. I'm flabbergasted. If you got any ideas or anything like that please let me know let me know what you think about the outcome of this thank you i'm blessed to have y'all i'll see you on my next video bless it be turn it off oh, wrong button